Ladies and gentlemen, you've been waiting for a long while. We have been as well, and we're finally glad to bring you guys Navi versus Fnatic, a best of three series in the we play. And then this is the lower bracket where the loser goes home, the winner survives to stay on. I am Luminous from Beyond the Summon, and joining me alongside is none other than Kai Peace, Eternal Envy. All right, long, long way. We had a lot of chance to talk about various information, but let's dive straight into the game. The first ban phase is over. And we're gonna see the life sealer being opening pick here for Navi, and Fnatic's gonna answer Bark with Dark Seer and predictions, Envy. <laughs> Bane, probably, maybe. Honey yep. and Bane. Bane is definitely Bane. A, a great hero to actually uh, kind of combat against the life sealer. I want to really talk about Darkseer and how Fnatic plays a little bit differently. If Hani is playing a Darkseer, which there might be a chance that he will, he generally likes to play it with Max Surge and Max Iron Shell, which is definitely the non-standard way most uh, players like to put a couple points into the vacuum. And Maxing Surge is definitely a decent tool against Life Sealer Open Wound or any type of melee initiation. But it seems like Nyx Assassin is going to be the uh, second pickup. We do have Magnus as well as Keeper of Light being banned out on the Radiant side. We have Wisp and Batrider being banned out on the Dire. Yeah, of course they're gonna pick Nyx Assassin. Uh, it's just so good with Lifestealer. It, it gets countered a little bit by Lifestealer, but I mean, when you have a Darkstar, you have to pick Nyx. Because you're. Uh, if you get mana burned on Darkstar, you're screwed. You ain't using your wall, you have no mana. Yeah, so the interaction that uh, Envy was referring to is that open wounds and as well as the rage combo really shreds through most supports. And Nyx Assassin generally very good at surviving any kind of initiation because of Spike Carapace. But. Uh, that, that's true, but I said the opposite. Yeah, said you said like the counter, opposite. Um, gets, yeah. Gets, um, counters the next assassin because you can't you can't hit intel remaining. unless the life stealer is not paying attention. You have to just intel right away. Exactly, and also when remaining. you give Nyx assassin and life stealer on the same team, the ganks on the mid game is just absolutely scary. But the second pickup here for Rubik and Puck is going to be there for Navi. So we're going to see some dandy Puck action today. A little, always, always nice to see. And of course, uh, Resolution will be standing here for Hovos. Yesterday, when we saw a sign-in for Navi, Kuroki moved to the carry row, and I do believe uh, Miracle yesterday, who was the sign-in, was playing on support. Uh, I'm not sure if what row resolution plays. Do you know, Envy? I do not. Okay, so we'll, we'll see how they mix and match later on. Fnatic also has a stand-in. Fly's not here today, and Doomix will be standing his way. And we're going to see another Templar Assassin. So Templar Assassin is definitely making kind of a big comeback here. And I know you've been practicing this mid matchup for, for a long time. Now, you know how to beat Puck as a TA, and you know how to beat TA as a Puck, but what is generally, how, how does the mid lane generally come down to with these two heroes on the map? Generally, TA is considered to be a counter to Puck, straight up. And, and why is that? I think that's true. I mean, not, not, not the, not overall game, but just because TA has a lot of damage and Puck's not, I mean, he's a decent harass hero, but he's not like a quap, you can't completely harass the TA out of the lane, um, or like a Batrider. So T is gonna out damage you, and we, if, if you can't harass him, he's just gonna get every CS. But I do think Puck, I think Dendi's gonna win the mid, mid lane. Um, he's probably gonna get pulled. Dendi always gets pulled nowadays. The no has been two branches, tangle flask. That's and, a that's a lot of pulling, man. And I think Dendi is really good at one on one. I expect him to do even or win the mid lane. So, well, uh, at least to level five. Level five, I mean, you really can't do much. We'll see how that lane go. Let's go into the second ban phase here. Gyrocopter as well as the Strack being banned out here for Navi. Meanwhile, Fnatic's actually banning out a Undying. Uh, also, there was some Skyrath Mage bans geared towards Navi as they've been picking that hero a ton and been using it very well. But I don't think we're going to see it, at least in this game, considering that the solo mid has already been picked up. And Navi, the way that they've been playing Skyrath Mage is always solo mid. Uh, but Lina is going to get the second ban as well. Targeting towards the support here as Navi still needs one more. Um, uh, I seen Puppy only play Nyx Assassin yesterday, and he wasn't exactly... Uh, also, he, I think he played Enchantress, so let's see if we're gonna see a couple of return of those particular heroes, or maybe we're gonna see something else. Jakiro has been quite a, a, lot, uh, a popular pickup lately as well, mostly due to the combination of Magnus, who is not in this game, so I'm curious in terms of what supports we'll see. Also, there is the good old Shadow Demon, which we haven't seen too often lately. The last band here for Navi is gonna be the Lycanthrope. Fnatic can run Dark Surf with TXG combo. Sure. So I'm not too sure if that's going to be good against the Life Stealer. Life Stealer is really good against TXG. TXG has high HP uh, for support and has low armor, so that's yeah. like perfect bad for Life Stealer. More importantly, I feel like his disabled, even though it has a long range, it comes out in a very slow cast animation, and there's always a ton of time for Life Stealer to react. Lone Druid is going to get the ban here, uh, which is not too surprising considering that if you give away Lone Druid and Life Stealer, there's 
many, many teams uh, that just basically face roll you with those kind of lineups. Um, and it's very easy to do so, if, especially if the last two pick is Long Drew and Chen. Uh, we're going to see some IG pushing coming out, but so far, uh, so far, so good here for both teams. I don't, I don't feel like either team has a significant advantage in terms of the draft. So we'll see how the last uh, four picks is going to shape this up. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, one interesting thing I want to mention. Um, so you, you said Navi did pick Skyrim, right? I just want to say uh, Na Navi is one of those teams that will pick when a new hero comes out. Uh, you should watch out for Navi because they they probably will pick it. When Rubik came out, they ran him as like solo mid or whatever. They Whenever a new hero comes out, they generally the first team to to do something about it. Yeah, I generally mean... Generally, it's Dundee, too. Well, I, I don't know. I, there's some small sample size. I mean, Bristleback's a hero that's in CM pool. They're, they don't see him running in mid with Dundee playing it, right? So, I'm not sure if that's a, that's a fair statement. Tree, quote-unquote, new hero for a while. Nobody really picks him. But, you know. Yeah, got one. Um, Envy, if you could quickly maybe toggle your uh, Dota 2 TV uh, in-game audio. I know it's on, uh, maybe the sensitivity is somewhat too low, maybe turn it up a bit. There's a bit of static, and hopefully we can fig figure out all the technical issues before the game actually get on the road. Uh, for those of you guys that just, just joined us on the stream, we're in game one between Navi and Fnatic. We had a kind of a semi-long delay, but now everything is on the road and ready to go, and I hope we're going to have a really, really good best of three. Chen's going to be the pickup here for Navi, nothing too surprising. And we're, we're constructing very similar to a big push rat like that Alliance, for example, like to run. Some of the Chinese teams like to run. And uh, we'll see what the last pick up here. Um, they're going to definitely need a uh, solo laner. Nature's Prophet is still in the pool. Definitely a very, very powerful pushing hero. And I'm kind of saddened that Broodmother's not no longer considered. The last time I saw him play was EG Sexy Bamboo. And that was kind of like a, like a, I, I don't want to say a cheesy pick, but she's a hero that I feel is quite powerful. And a lot of... Players perhaps forgot how powerful she really is. Well, she she got she got buffed in the uh, recent patch when Tranko Boots got nerfed. I think that's one of the main reasons to why she's no longer in competitive. Once Tranko Boots kicked in, it was like, what's the point? I mean, she definitely gives you the farm. She definitely gives you the tower pressure. I, I don't I don't think Tranko Boots mm, alone. I mean, if you go off lane with Bru Mother, I mean, the remaining. chance of you getting farmed. Uh, oh wow, it's dazzle. Yeah, I mean, but they can just keep you level one forever, and then. Oh, the carry can zone you out once he gets Tranko Boots and you can't do anything anymore because you don't have the damage uh -huh. and if you can't harass the, the enemy carry off the lane then you're pretty much useless but with the Tranko nerf though it takes like 30 seconds now to heal I mean the Brim other can just hit you sure fair fair point Nature's Prophet is going to be the last point here last pick up here for Nature's uh for <laughs> Nature's Prophet is going to be the last pick up here for Navi Mio Fnatic is going to pick up a Dazzle so you're kind of making a point of Dazzle is this most important spell here Weave I imagine as uh or his ultimate shadow shadow weave shadow wave what is the ultimate called <laughs> jesus Ten seconds. weave yeah weave i got it right on the first one and i'm not sure exactly Five if that's you know drop weave it goes through bkb rage whatever the case is and it's a great aoe it really synergized well with templar assassin and oh hey! my god that's a safe lane brute mother i think that's gonna it's gonna be uh gonna toss dota what do gonna... you what were you saying about triangle boots Got nerfed. And and what was the interaction with Broodmother again? Uh, you can harass someone on the lane now? You can't just pick up Tranko Boots and go, okay, you can't harass me. So, so Brutus, Brutus good enough to be picked up, right? Is that what we established? Maybe. But Maybe. Uh, th 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 this is gonna be what Dignitas does. It's an extremely ridiculously scary lane, especially against Nature's Prophet. Um, what you do is you send Spiralings. Like, you make Spiralings and then you just send them to the jungle. And you heal the spiralings, so your dazzle forms like yep. extremely, extremely quickly. Or if they stay in the lane, which I do not advise they do, um, you just send the spiralings at them, surround them, and heal under that. Is this gonna be sort of a dual lane slash trial lane? Like you're talking about the dazzle broodmother combo, and it's it, it's a combo, but how the hell do you lane this? I guess you could straight up dual it's lane. Gonna, I, I, it's gonna be a safe lane. I think it's gonna be a safe lane broodmother. Okay. And then you just yeah mix spiders, and if they try to defend, you just heal the you surround them. And you heal. If someone TP's in, you just put the spiders next to the TP location. You pop the heal, and they're dead. Well, let's quickly introduce the players for both for both sides. Kuroki will be playing uh, the Rubik. We have Puppy playing Chan. Resolution is going to be handling the Lifestealer. Funic on the Nature's Prophet, and Dendi on Puck. I'm losing HP bars. Is it just me? Well, I'll come back in the game. 
good thing we have a pause right now. I do apologize for the technical difficulties. I don't know why I don't have an HP bar, but I'll come back quick. No tail is not on do on NA. That might not be good for uh, Fnatic. I think it's real. I I played Rubik against Fnatic a lot of times, and I I find it impossible to steal spells against them. Yeah. With Kuroki on Rubik and Dumix on NA, I'm not sure if Dumix is gonna have the same uh, dil diligence to to pop that level one carapace every time. He give us a spell. Give us uh, a quick download on why. Rubik having mana burn or having impale is such a travesty. To I mean, play you have mana burn and you mana burn in the darkster. He's no, he's not gonna have mana to cast wall anymore. He takes like 400 damage, and no mana cast wall. He's screwed. Um, also, the impale, like no animation impale. That impale lasts so long. I think it's one of the longest duration stuns in the game, like 2.7 se seven seconds. That's in, that's crazy. Yeah, you were talking about the lack of mana to cast his high mana wall, vacuum, and whatnot. Let's not forget that he's generally the mech or pipe holder for the team. So, like, mana is very, very critical on Darkseer, and having uh, Rubik's ability no steal time. it. Alright, looks like I'm back. Right on time as both teams running out, and they're getting ready to place a couple wards. No, they, oh, no, they're not. They're just kind of aggressive trying with the top race, maybe. And safe lane the root mother against um, Fernand. I mean, Fernand gets raped either way. Well, Fion shouldn't die considering the fact that he could always TP out, but I, I don't think he wins the lane. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm in agreement with you there. Well, we'll, we'll see how it comes out here quickly. Let's check out how we're doing in let's terms of item. Clean, Your mother has a uh, soul ring recipe. I think too surprising, and that's pretty much it. Dendi, as you expected, no talisman. Tangle salve okay, gets bull that... and should be fine on the mid lane. Let's quickly introduce the sire as well. Trixie will be playing on the dark stair. On the bot, it's gonna be Doom playing the Nyx assassin. No tell. Dendi missed his block. Who misses block? Then he misses Ooh. block. Well, he I let through the range creep. I guess if you're gonna miss no, a block, that's the worst one. You, you, you're supposed to let through the range creep, but you're not supposed to do it that, that early. Well, he, he let it through, and now the kill advantage is gonna be on Hani's side. Hani's gonna be playing on the uh, Templar Assassin, and last but not least, on the top lane here, Era. Doing a little bit of uh, creep talking himself. Looks like a tree is gonna deny a haze. Drax the entire creep wave across in front of his own tower, and. Uh, uh oh, these creeps. Look at bottom lane, what the hell is going on? Yeah, and you never seen a Darkstar creep skip before? That's exactly what they're doing, man. Kuroki trying to de war a little bit here in the jungle. He's not going to find that sentry ward. A lot of blocking going on. This is one of the more awkward offensive trialing possible, but... Fnatic Trixie is getting a ton of experience. He's going to get a ton of unmolested farm. Puppy really can't be as effective as he want because entirety of his jungle is ward off. He does have a huge Hellbear Smasher. And let's see if they can make anything going right now. Trixie does have Surge, and he's gonna get lifted though. He gets tossed back, and a couple more right click. There's gonna be open wounds. Nice two man impale, but I think he's gonna go down. Grave is gonna keep him safe. He's on the run. He's on the run, and he's still alive, but one more hit Surge, and that's gonna be first blood. Puppy, what a play. Kuroki, I, I did not know he was in range for that lift, and that really set everything up. And suddenly, this trialing is very, very difficult. As they're not only dealing with first blood go and experience, they're also dealing with the Hellbear Smasher in their lane, harassing and and last hitting. Puppy not exactly too sure what that what he was doing there, but really really big win here for Navi. Yeah, this is really bad um, for Fnatic. They're losing their mid lane TA first block, which is not something Hani expects, I think. Well, um, the pulling definitely helping out, but like you expected, you expected Dendi to win the lane despite of the hero disadvantage, right? Yeah, Denied. and also the heroes they have bottom, they have Darkstar, NA, and Shadow Priest. These three heroes require a ridiculous amount of levels, and Dazzle getting Grave first is useless. So Dendi, a little bit of miss, uh, miss Q on that orb. And in a very awkward position, Notel trying to get the deny. Oh no, he didn't get the deny. Look at the amount of damage she took from these wolves. These wolves are critting like crazy. Nobody's gonna come deny. around. Kuroki though, can he get a lift off? No, he can't. Centaur still zoning away, zoning away. And that's gonna be can, it. Can, can you deny the rune for 500 range? He's not 600. I'm not even sure if you can. I think you can. I'm not too sure though. Ooh, that's that's, that's cutting. I'm not. I don't know exactly it. Uh, dev never tried it with the 500 hero. Back in the mid lane here, Hani as well as Dandy harassing each other away. Illusion rune comes in as well as a bottle. You know, once Puck gets his bottle, the lane gets significantly easier. I want to say, um, especially level four or five, uh, like you point out. Back in the bot lane though, there is a kill. Chen, Darkseer, dead. Judged lackey. Oh no! I mean, their their lane, Dazzle with Grave. What do you? What what kind of hero are you? If you have this Grave, in the aggressive trial lane. You're a 400 range hero, right? 
500 range shot of low damage, like, you don't do anything. Yeah. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what this lane is supposed to do. Maybe they're experimenting a little bit, but this experiment experimentation is not really working out as, uh... Yeah, now Trixie. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what this what this lane to do. I actually focus uh, on the top lane a little bit. Funic has, uh, has 9 CS. Brewmeter has 9 himself. Uh, I imagine some of these are a little bit... Uh, it's like a tree and spiraling war up top. So, CS... Oh, back in the bottom lane here. Rage is gonna get dodge. Or Rage dodges the impale. And uh, I guess that's the one of the interaction that you were sort of mentioning during a draft. It's hard, actually really, really hard to hit a uh, kind of a free free impale like that on a rage life sealer. You, you just can't like the reaction is too easy. It's there's too much time for them to react. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if Arrow's gonna start dominating top now. He's he's really not doing well enough for his team to come back. He's, he has a lot of spars right now, though, so he, he can die. Well, those spiderlings are not exactly making any top, top of tower dive pushing, right now. Though. He's not pushing. Okay, now he is. I, I feel like he should be attacking more of his spiders so he can dive the tower. His spiders are not hitting anything. Is he afraid of giving away the free EXP and go to Funic? Is, is that the O? I don't know. Okay, he's sending he just, out a spiderling back. Them, yeah, he's gonna farm them, which I guess is okay. He's gonna try to accelerate farm, but... Yeah, I, I think I like uh, your reason a little bit more. I'd like to see him at least pressure the Prophet more. I don't think, again, he's going to get the kill, considering that there's a TP out. But still, get him off the lane, get him off the creeps. Uh, you can and... even zone all the experience range. Yeah. I mean, send the spy like all 10, 8 of those Spiderlings into the, under the tower and whatnot. Hani getting a ton of harassment against him on the mid lane. He's got a magic wand fully upgraded. I'm not exactly sure what that's about, but he's going to be bottle crawling as well. Here comes Doomix, trying to get a little bit of mana burn now. I'm surprised that Hani is having an ass tough of time. The centaur is going to come down. Centaur dies as Puppy gets another creep. Uh oh, tornado farm, guys. This is pretty OP. That's going to put probably Chen to 3.5, almost even 4. A very, very passive game. Looks like Fun is going to TP back to base. Grab a TP scroll back. So he's not going to be going for the quick Midas. Does have Wrath of Nature up. Let's see if he's going to be making a gank on somewhere else. Probably, I doubt it, though. He's going to TP back in lane and start last hitting away. Middling her puck, eating a couple of shadow strike, or mel strikes in the face. You think that uh, Dendy's gonna go straight blink dagger, or you think he's gonna upgrade to uh, Tretz first? I'm I'm not exactly sure. To be honest, it really depends what's gonna happen in the next few minutes. What what is it depending down? Like if you feel like you're ahead, do you straight go to blink dagger? If you feel like you're a little bit behind, do you go Tretz? Is that is that the reasoning, or? It's I mean, how it, it's about how quick you can farm the extra thousand gold, and I don't think you can farm it that quick. Back in the bot lane here, Trixie gets lifted up. Kuroki you're trying to toss him to high ground there. Not gonna work out. And that I mean, right be... now he's farming pretty well, but once he hits level seven, the TA hits level seven, you, you shouldn't be expecting to farm as well. And so, it, like the you, you'll progressively farm slower, and so you'll need um, you can't just rush the blink dagger. Well, so far, uh, we don't see any kind of threats be bought just yet. Curry came with a pair of observer wards. Words are being placed on the high ground. They see the dazzle. Then they should be fine. It's gonna be so hard to actually get a kill on Dendi. But like you said, he has to play somewhat passively. Gotta respect the power of those traps. There's, it's a ton of slows. And if you cop without phase or orb, you're dead. I Meanwhile, Sentry War gets put up on the top ground here. Uh, those Sentry, I don't want to say a necessity, but a very, very important part of keeping Funic alive. You don't want to suddenly walk into an army of Spiralings and get surrounded and die. And looks like we are gonna see that rotation. So this is kind of what you're talking about, right? Shadow or shadow wave into a, a billion spiraling and that's gonna blow up the creep wave easily even with a, like a low-level shadow wave And you could push off of it or you could hero kill with it, but so far do not doing anything with it So I'm the confused. Spiders aren't hitting anything. Yeah, I, 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 well now they're hitting something shadow heal. No, okay This is a very awkward push and Funix getting a ton of XP. There's a heal and they only got one or two Meanwhile puck back in the mid lane though orbs right clicks getting kills Okay well, I, my camera fun. wasn't there because I didn't expect that happen. How did Hani even die to Dendi? Refraction uh, is... There's no Sentry War too. This, how is this possible? I'm as, as confused as you are. Like... Oh my god, Dendi. What a disgusting mid player. Yeah, right now we're only 7 minutes in 3 kill, but the go advantage is absolutely insane. Dire is not farming anywhere near us, Navi. Tower kills is not happening, but it should, as uh, standing resolution is starting hitting the top tower, a uh, bot tower. Top tower is being protected fairly decently by Navi as well, so. 
I'm not exactly sure what this brute pick is about, but so far it's not working out. Not they have only... a snowball lineup. Yeah, Certain, I mean, if they don't win the early game, they're probably not going to win the game at all. Yeah, I mean, brute mother is not exactly known for leaking pyrus in any sort of imagination. Then the 800 go in the bank. We're going to quickly find out whether he's going to upgrade those treads. Standing resolution as well as Rubik just hitting in this tower and tower almost under deny range. It looks like they're going to try to push it. Yeah, resolution is going to tank it so far. Last hit, close to resolution. There is just zero defense coming out from Fnatic. I'm surprised how. They don't how, have anything. Yeah, they have nothing at all. Meanwhile, Chen sits on the mid lane, gonna get a ton of EXP as uh, Dendi is not in there. There is gonna be a Bracer on Templar Assassin, and maybe a little bit afraid of more kind of dive going against her. And it's gonna be, I imagine, a Treads Drums build, or maybe a Face Drums build coming out from Templar Assassin. Something that Snake King really likes to do go for a stat heavy build. Make sure that you're tankier, make sure you help your teams chase a little bit more. Honey was the one who uh, invented it, I think. Really? Yeah. He was the one who first did it. Okay. Well, Hani going for his own build then. And uh, Dendi is just harassing away, burning that shield. Yeah, he got treads on uh, Dendi. I, I agree with this lineup. Uh, with this. Because he's not farming that fast anymore. Oh, back in the mid lane though. They are going to drop a couple of centuries. Hani shields out. And here comes the Wauken Tornado. Teleportation comes in from Funnick as well. They lift him up. They silence him. He is dead a second time. You talked about how the Dire team needs to snowball. Definitely not helping out. Looks like a net goes on Trixie. Trixie is going to surge back out. But... I think that was Iron Shell stolen. Yes, it is. Iron Shell stolen put on the Walken. And that Walken could just dive. He is so damn tanky. He's gonna tank the tower. Against TA. Yep. Free, free <laughs> refraction uh, charge all blown up against the TA, like you said. Uh, Tornado is gonna fly through. That's gonna do a little bit of damage. I think you're gonna get this tower as well. The Glyph is not up. There is no Koyo up. But the net is gonna slow down. Trixie, deny attempt from No Tail. Close, no, no cigar. And that's yet another tower. Go check about 5,000 go lead. Jesus. Radiance top tower's been disowned. Guess Fnatic's kind of getting owned, for the lack of better word. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm not too sure what they're gonna do at all. Meanwhile, there's, though, there's one of those awful games where your supports are stuck in all boots, and but you have to buy TP scrolls. So you're like, oh my god, do I buy boots? Do I buy TPs, guys? What do I do? And like, look at No Tower right now. He's just running around. Well, he has to buy wards too, so he's never gonna get his boots. And not unless they get a little bit more tower. And speaking of towers, Airbus at least destroyed the top tier one tower throughout all the distractions. So that's something that you expect a Bruma to do. And he's doing it quite well. But again, the lane domination wasn't there. He is going to be going for a quick Orchid. Oblivion Staff number one is up. The Orchid is going to help out a ton against the Puck. And to a lesser extent against the Lifestealer as well. But these guys, they're just so far ahead, I feel like. Lifestealer already has Armlet and uh, Armlet and Phase. Meanwhile, Puck, very close to his Blink Dagger, I imagine. We have about a... I thought it was gonna go away. And he's last hitting just fine here. Yep. I think by the time that Orchid comes up, Puck's gonna be near his uh, Yules up there. You think then he's gonna go straight blink into Yules? And he, he's one of the people who like to go Yules in general, like on every freaking hero. Mm -hmm. And he, I think if he goes Yules against uh, Broodmother or NA, it's gonna be pretty decent. Like you can dodge the Orchids and you can dodge the, the NA stun pretty easily. You could debuff the Orchid, yeah. When yep. you cycle yourself up in there. And of course, you can always cycle the enemy away. Looks like I see a smoke gank on the mid lane. Man, they just want to pick on Hani. Wrath of Nature comes down here. Teleportation. They want No Tail. No Tail is going to be doing a little bit of self grave action, but I think they're going to get both of them. Hani's going to get sprouted. He's going to get surrounded. Dendi gets a killing spree. Nature's Prophet's going to pick up a kill there as well. Midas gets late picked up, and Navi is steamrolling out of control right now. Dendi has a haste screen and he's not done just yet. He sees Era up on the top lane. I think Era's gonna be dead. He has that one sentry available. Is he dropping that sentry just yet? Orb, right click, and there's yet another kill. Dendi, for the lack of better word, is dominating. He's gonna find himself a 12 minute treads as well as a blink dagger. Meanwhile, Navi not stopped with their onslaught on the mid lane just yet. Then they push down a tier two as well. We're seeing close to the perfect game right now as Navi up by seven kills by two, two three towers. Right now, and 7,500 gold. I mean, I, what what can what can Fnatic do here? I'm not even sure what they could do. Mm -hmm. you, you have to pray Navi runs into your face and all five of them disconnect. Okay, so there's no it, way. There's no way. There's no way. Well, uh, we'll we'll see how good the ganks is for Nyx Assassin. He's gonna turn six very soon. Templar Assassin. Well, I'm looking at Templar Assassin. And I'm just feeling sad because she Who's has to do nothing. Gank? Like, who, who can he kill? Maybe Funic? Only Maybe? Chen, is, Chen is the only hero he can kill. Like, yeah. Every other, other, any other hero, he just gets Chen heals. True, true. So, 
I guess you find a chance somewhere and, and pick him off, but by the time you're doing He's that... He's gonna roam with the Rokoroki though. I mean, you can't get him. Dendi, Dendi has his Blink Dagger. Maybe he's looking to set up a gank on the top. He doesn't have his Sentry War yet. He could easily farm these Spiralings as well. So Era should be very careful about his micro. So. Radiance mid towers coming apart. Game not looking too good. Let's no, quickly no, check I'm out. I'm so confused about their starting lanes. Like why, why didn't they just safe lane the Broom Elder and just go Dignitas style and farm the Shadow Freeze? Like these heroes need so much levels. The NA, the Shadow Freeze. Like why did they go for some like this aggressive trial lane? And once it fails, you're done. You can't do anything. Yeah, just to remind everybody, they started with a creep skipping Darkseer and a Grave on a Dazzle, which was not able to do too much as a laning hero and aggressive trial lane. And uh, of course, there was Impale and Nyx Assassin, but I mean, really, it was just true hero in that lane. And they even got picked off. They got first blooded by Puppy despite that Grave. Looks like they're going to set up another gank up on the top lane with a smoked up in team. Uh, we're. Where's the dust on, on Dendi? I think, imagine Dendi's gonna be initiating. Sentry Warrior's gonna get dropped. Arrow gets lifted on the back. And not only is Dendi gonna get a kill there, whole bunch of spiraling farm. That's at least three, four hundred gold spiraling gold right there. And the okay, Kuroki. Spiders. Yep, Kuroki got spiraling as well. So we're gonna see a big push up on the top lane. Fnatic, for lack of a better word, they are really, really doomed. Fnatic's gonna come on the mid lane and try to get a little bit of uh, counter pushing action. They might even get this tier one, maybe. That's the boots on no tail because of power. He's so excited right now. Well, the Wrath of Nature is going to slow this oh, down. Yeah, Dendi no comes bias. in and blows him the hell apart. So no boots. Not only that, he lost a ton of gold. Dendi's going to go on the bot lane and the push will resume because Kuroki... Kuroki is microing all these... Uh... Alright, all right, you think funny going to die or Chen Hyo? Chen Hyo, Chen Hyo, Chen Hyo, Chen Hyo. Yep. Top tower's gone. Like you said, who who the hell is Dumix in the gank? Fun like Yusha Midas. Yusha Midas. No, they want Dumix. Spike Herpes is on cooldown. Oh no. Then he's gonna find himself a kill there. He, he has Spike Herpes up, right? He just didn't. He just got silenced. Who cares? A disaster. The dire might want to mine. I mean, there's no way he could live. Yeah. I mean, maybe he was buying or something like. What's the point of Carapacing? Well, they're paying the hell out of Puppy. I guess that's gonna be the primary target. Trap, it's gonna be right on top. Kuroki's gonna lift him up, steal the bells, Kuroki, they toss him back, and Puppy's gonna be the focus. They're trying they're laying everything on top of him, but there's a mech, he heals him back up, huge vacuum. Everybody's surrounded. Grave is gonna be on somebody. Brewmother's doing some right click. Yeah, it's a decent turnaround, but no. Iron Shell, the right click's the AoE right there, and GG straight up gets called. I guess they just wanted that kill against Puppy. They got it, and they just flatly GG out. A complete. Kuroki got grave. Yeah, Kuroki. If he grave, if he grave, uh, he didn't do it. But if he did, oh, that was so freaking epic. I I think he got grave afterwards. I I didn't. No, he didn't. I, he didn't. I, know, I think. Okay. Well, whatever the case is, Navi just orchestrated a complete and total utter dominance against Fnatic. This is the lower bracket of replay. So, if Fnatic loses the next game, they're completely out. And I gotta say, thank you to Navi, they're putting us right back on schedule. We were a little bit late because of the late start in game number one. And now we're back on time, so we're gonna go back to game number two. He's Eternal Envy, I am Luminous, and we're Beyond the Summit, bringing you guys a replay, lower bracket, top eight. We'll be back for game two, so don't go anywhere, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the broadcast so far.